The police, David Lee Roth, and the Pretenders. Falling into place like a domino theory. You know, we got the top record and the top album and the biggest selling tour and the best T-shirt. <laughs> there are a lot of things to spur us on, actually. Everything's... Yeah, we're riding the crest. <laughs> Yeah, we're riding the crest. synchronicity I think that a lot of people myself included have become aware of the term synchronicity I mean I think a lot of people have gone out and bought dictionaries and looked it up and I think you really increased a lot of people's awareness from synchronicity to Mephistopheles do you, do you see that as positive well I mean if, if someone looks up reads Faust because they heard the name Me Mephistopheles then that's good it's a good book better than t sending someone out to go and play Pac-Man or something. It's much more useful to read books. And t to a certain extent, you know, when I was a school teacher, I used to sort of throw out bits of information. And this is much the same, isn't it? You just say, I'll oh, read that, I'll read this. Has your role as a school teacher sort of carried over when you're in front of the biggest... Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm... Quiet at the back of the class. <laughs> no, Stuart. Quiet! <laughs> All right, see, I wasn't a school teacher. No, you can tell. You, it shows, doesn't it? Sort of and you throw a piece of chalk. Yeah. You must have been hard. Were you mean? Were people I scared to come worst. to your class? <laughs> I saw that. I also, <laughs> I also have eyes in the back of my head, which teachers develop quite yeah, shit. True. <laughs> Pope Ron, is that? I think that we've seen a lot of bands around now that by listening to them, you can hear that they've been influenced by you. It How took a that... long time, though. I mean, it, I, I was, I mean, like Elvis Costello was not nearly as successful as we are, but he had imitators very early on. I don't know whether it's because it's more difficult to imitate or what, but it was a much longer time coming, and now that in the last six months there seems to have been a floodgate opened, and a lot of groups sound just like us, which is why we no. have to shift and do a different rec do, do a different. Style. I don't agree. I don't think any group sounds like us. Well, other people oh, say they, they pick do. up little things that we do, and but um, you know what what happened with us was a very organic. It was because we were all so different that we all happened to come together in a group. It was organic. You can't contrive it really. Now you know we we worked on something that came together over a period of time. Now people can pick up elements of that style. Was that all right? That's fine. Did it affect yeah. how you approached synchronicity? Well, when a lot of our tricks started to be used by other people, I mean, obviously, we have to think of new tricks. Yeah, but we think of those anyway, you know? <laughs> Regardless of whether we were being copied or not, we'd want to make the, the album sound different. All of our albums sound different, as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing to do with other groups. I mean, really. is really eclectic from all different kinds of whether it be African or reggae rhythms and I'm curious uh, Sting I'll put this to you what is it that you're listening to right now that's influencing you well, 
Yeah. For those of us who, who can't read it, can we clean it? It's okay. You got it? No. I always wear this T-shirt. It's getting very smelly. It was Mozart's first tour, and uh, I, I bought this. Got all his albums. <laughs> nah, he tried it there. <laughs> you really gave away the franchise there. I mean, you gave it away for nothing. Didn't get any money out of Mozart, you know? Great musician to make any T-shirt money. Buried in a pauper's grave. I mean, he just didn't have merchandising together in those days, you know? He should have. Yeah, you should, you know, look up his relatives and send him some money for that T-shirt. <laughs> year for you, but in synchronicity, we've seen some of the most potent and focused songwriting coming out of a lot of pain, a lot of emotional strife. Do you think, do you think those kind of emotions are conducive to your own creativity? Um, it's not the only way you can write songs man, by being in torment or pain or having things go wrong, but it, it certainly helps you write a certain type of song. Um, maybe next year I'll be wonderfully happy and, you know, and I'll write songs about um, flowers and trees and birds. Then again, I'm not very interested in that anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it, let's end it now. That's our manager. He said, end it now? That means end it now. <laughs>